What is the matter with you that you do not ascribe dignity to Allah? And certainly he has created you in stages, or in different forms and conditions. And Allah has raised you from the earth like the raising of vegetation. That's chapter 71. So what do you make of that? Break that down for me. That's very interesting because actually it seems to actually be addressing creationists. Yeah. Uh, more than it's addressing Darwinists. Yeah. Um, because Darwin, uh, creationists believe that, you know, God goes, be and... Mm. literally every single thing god certainly must have done that at some point perhaps at the beginning yeah um, but they believe that you know god said well oh, it depends how you Adam. interpret it but yes yeah yeah absolutely it depends how you interpret it but you know creationists generally have the concept of special creation which is the god just goes be in the human being just pops out of existence and then there's a tree next to him and then there's a cloud you know yeah, yeah. um whereas god talks about here how what is the matter with you that you don't ascribe dignity to god that such an act would actually be undignified yeah. and not in keeping with god's attributes and so the question is why is it undignified and that's the answer because it's not in keeping with god's other attributes mm. um and um you do, you know it says you do not ascribe um staidness to allah in other translations as well in other words patience wisdom, and dignity. wisdom and dignity and time uh, to do something over a period and then the quran goes on to say that he's created he's created you in different forms and conditions yeah right um, Atawara, which means stages, forms, conditions. Yeah, and then it goes on to say, and he has raised you from the earth like the raising of vegetation. In other words, you don't you realize you had a vegetative state? Mm -hmm. um, so this is pointing to the one of the earliest forms of human mm -hmm. development.